YouTube, what's going on? It's Ease Kicks and Topics back with another video. Today is a, a upcoming shoe release, a shoe review, I should say, um, of two of, if not just one, but I, both of these are iconic for me. Both of these are must have shoes um they are rumored to come this holiday season of 2022 um is the Jordan 1 OG Chicago's of the 1985 so there's going to be a high cut like super high and then the OG uh Jordan 2s the black, red, and white ones. Um, you know, what more do I need to say about the ones? You know, the uh the 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 last pair, the last time they was re-retro was what, 2015, I believe. Um them shoes going for <laughs> exactly what they going for on this screen. Um they these are very high sought after i mean i could have been got these i just didn't but now i'm glad that i'm waiting to get them for the 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 new ones that's coming out if they do a rumor or allegedly however you want to put it um because they look better they look more og-ish um they look like you know everything. It's just this, this, you can't go wrong with this colorway um, at all. Um, yeah, these, these is just so beautiful, man. I can't wait. Hopefully they come out, which I'm pretty sure they probably do. But if they do, that that's I think it might be three shoes that come out in in the holidays, which they said. Uh, the other shoe I'm gonna talk about the last one. You know, I, I go ahead and throw my little spin on it or whatever. But these is my main two focus. Um, and then the Jordan 2s. A lot of people starting to, you know, have their opinions on the 2s. are starting to rock with the 2s with the late, great Virgil. Um, I've been rocking with the 2s. And this colorway has been sought after. For me, I can't remember the last time these was re-retro. Um, probably some somewhere in the early 2010s, probably. Um, I, I just, I just always liked the twos, and I'm glad I waited on these two because, um, if if you get the last ones that came out, um, they might. They might start separating. So um I'm I'm real glad. I think the last ones was probably 2014, I believe, of these. But you know, if you want an older pair, which you know, I'm a sucker for the older pair of Jordans, because like I explained before, the materials of the shoe or whatnot and it makes the, sh the comfort of the shoe feel a lot lot better um yeah i i love these man you know i like the red and white ones too but like i said i gotta have an og colorway in every silhouette jordan that i have so to have these two come out in the same year I know the twos is not going to be as expensive as the ones, but you never know with the shoe market today. You just never know. You just never know. Um, I, I I love these two, man. I can't wait to cop them. You know, the Jordan ones. I mean, I'm starting to get a lot of Jordan ones. At first, I thought, at first I thought I would only get a certain amount of Jordan ones, but I'm starting to find myself get a lot of Jordan ones. Now I see why a lot of people get them because 
It's just simple. It go with everything. And then you got to have every colorway. Damn near. Uh, I still got to get the trophy rooms. It's still certain shoes I still got to get of the Jordan 1s. It's just, you know, it take time. Um, the Jordan 2s, like I said, I, I still want the red and white ones. Definitely got to cop these. I only got one pair of 2s, which was the nice shades. If you didn't check that video out, go ahead and check that video out. Um of those shoes in my collection. Them is the only twos I had. And I think those is my first twos I ever had my whole entire life. So this would be my second pair. You know, it's just all white shoes you got to be real cautious with. You know, so, you know, they got to be super clean. But I just love these, man. I can't wait to get both of these. Like I said, the Jordan 1s, the Chicago's, the OG cut originals. Those mugs is going to skyrocket. And best believe the 2015 is probably still going to remain its value. It, which is weird with the shoe game. Um, You would think when a shoe re-retro, the last time it was retro, the last pair would go down in price. But that's not the case because look at the South Beach uh, LeBron 8s. The preheats, which is the 2008 pair, those are still more expensive than the ones that just came out. But I, I guess I kind of understand because the preheat ones got a different color. And I think it's different things that's different. But nevertheless, I'm just saying like the, the, the 2015s, don't be surprised if those Chicago Jordan ones remain value versus these ones that's coming out but i'm i'm not gonna sit there and say that these ones that's coming out is not going to be high i see these mugs sitting at a minimum of a seven hundred to eight hundred dollars i hope i'm wrong i'm hoping everybody can get these but the sneaker game and how people is that is as far as the twos i see about three four hundred for these sitting at the price range of those but you know nevertheless definitely a cop for me can't wait i'm so happy to hear this news of two iconic shoes especially the chicago's so just can't wait but i just want to drop my pins uh and my my thoughts on the upcoming of these two y'all have a great day and i'll see y'all in the next video